Hey everybody and welcome back. So today I wanted to do a face full of drugstore products. Everything on my face is from the drugstore with the exception of mascara which is you will find out why in the video when you watch. I previously wanted this to do like be a first impressions of all drugstore for the most part but I recorded it a couple of days ago and when I went to pull the footage off I noticed that I had accidentally deleted like a huge chunk off my camera of the actual video itself unfortunately so I'm refilming it so it's more so just a face full of drugstore versus being a first impression but I do let you know an update of how the products actually were which is a benefit of I guess <laughs> the initial footage being deleted so if you want to see how I achieved this entire look from drugstore products then go ahead and keep watching Alrighty, so foundation wise, I'm gonna start off with uh, Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free All in One ABC Cushion Foundation, and it does have SPF 50. I got the shade Ivory. This shade range in here is kind of what kills it. I think there's only like three shades. Don't quote me, but I think that's all I saw when I went and I picked this up. So that's a bummer. Let me go ahead. I don't like particularly using the little sponges that it comes with, so I'm just going to go in with Beauty Blender and just see how this covers. Normally I'd spot treat with like some concealer, but I want to see what the coverage is really like with this. It actually was really natural looking when I tried it <laughs> in the video previously. They got deleted. But it was like, I put it on and initially it was like whatever, like it was like fine. It didn't look bad and it wasn't like amazing but throughout the day I just loved the way my skin looked it looked so natural like I feel like this is perfect for that no makeup makeup look it's just got such a nice like very very natural finish it's not mad it's not dewy it just kind of like that uh, satin right in between and I got so lucky that the shade actually works well for me thank goodness because I feel like a lot of the times colors just tend to lean too pink or too yellow for me because I'm more neutral tone so it's hard to find like good ranges of neutral sometimes and especially when there's only like three colors I think in this this is awesome this just looks so great honestly this is such a shocking find for me because I really was like I didn't know what to think about this but this is great I just wish they expanded the color range because this is amazing. I've never tried any other cushion foundations, so I mean, this is my first time, but I'm pretty picky when it comes to foundations, and that one is awesome. I'm gonna go in, just put some NYXT HD concealer. I have the shade Fair, I think it's 02, which is weird for it being fair. Yeah, but it is. It's 02. I'm just gonna do like a really light coverage because I already put some of the foundation here anyway, so it's kind of just like just a smidge. blend that out with my real technique sponge it's a diamond one I like it it's not like the most amazing sponge but I like that it has the pointed side and I can just kind of get right in there I like using beauty sponges different I like using a different beauty sponge for each area I don't that probably sounds excessive but just personal preference And I'd say this concealer is kind of more of like a medium coverage. It's not super full, but it's not super sheer. And it has like that same like natural finish to it. When I first got this and tried this concealer, I literally hated it. It just didn't sit well with my skin. And I know that my skin is just different now. It's more normal to dry these days versus when I first picked this up. My skin was very much so dry. I mean, sorry. <laughs> it was really oily. But now that my skin has changed... I like this. It's like a nice natural concealer. And then I'm going to pop some powder on. I'm just going to use the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Airbrush Press Powder. This is SPF 30. The way SPFs work, whichever one is the highest is the one that actually does the job. So it's not like if you have a 50 and a 30, it's going to combine to make SPF 80. It's just going to be the 30. Or sorry, the 50 because it's the higher. And I'm going to go ahead, I think this is the Morphe G0, yeah, G0, so put this inside everything. I 
I like to pat this in just because with my skin care that I'm trying out right now, I feel like it, sometimes it balls up if I put a little bit too much on. So I feel like patting it is probably a little bit of a safer bet than swirl, the normal swirl method. These two, the cushion foundation and the powder, they just work so well together and it looks so natural. I hope it's coming off just like it is in real life on camera. I noticed with some of the footage that I didn't accidentally delete from the last video, I feel like you could still see some of the color here a little bit more than you actually can in real life. So that was kind of like sucky. So if you're seeing stuff here, there is a little bit, but I feel like it covers so well as a whole without me spot concealing underneath. Um, so it's amazing. <clears throat> and then for blush, it's my favorite blush of all times. Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush. And the shade is the Princess Daiquiri's. Just looks like this. It's a beautiful ombre finish. And I don't know. It's just something about this. It's just my favorite. It's so natural. And it's great for a very large amount of looks. And this is just the Morphe E4 brush. It just has such a nice natural flush to the skin, which I love. And then I'm going to go ahead and bronze up the skin a little bit with the Glam Bronze from L'Oreal Paris. This is the shade 01. I believe this one has three different colors as well. It has like a slight shimmer when you look at it but once it goes on the skin you can't even see that at all this one is more of a cool toned bronzer which is what i prefer the more fair you are the harder it is to find really good bronzers because bronzers are filled with so much warmth majority of the time that it's just this is a nice alternative to having super orange or red tones and then I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques number 100. It's from their Metal Collection. This is one of my favorite brushes for contouring. It's just the perfect shape and kind of just goes right in there and does it for you. And for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild I'll Have a Cosmo highlighter, which is just like this it's got like pinks and like champagnes and like a little bit of like a slightly bronzy shade in there this came off a little bit more pink than i had thought but it looks beautiful it's not a blinding highlight which is what i tend to go for but it's still such a pretty formula that it looks very like a natural glow on the skin And then I'm actually going to throw some on my lids just with that little sample Bare Minerals brush that I've had for years and just do like the world's easiest eyeshadow look. This is great because it is more of that neutral toned bronze shade so it kind of just it warms up the skin but it just isn't too too heavily pigmented and this what I love about this little brush is it you can be as messy or as precise as you want with it considering its size and I just it is the perfect like blown out shape for me that's literally all I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna go in let's see hmm where is my brush okay Originally, I had used the, the new Essence Eyebrow Brush. This is just too, too soft for me. It wasn't placing down precise enough lines when I was doing my brows, so I probably am going to take this back. It's just, it's a very, very soft, movable brush, and that just doesn't really work very well for brows. But I did try out the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade. I got the shade Caramel Brown. This is a little bit warmer. It's very cool toned on the swatch here on the box, but the actual product, in my opinion, is pretty warm. It's the only downside to it, but it didn't look terrible throughout the day, so I'll put it on again see if maybe with a different brush it looks any better. I don't know. We'll see. I just love this Anastasia brush. So this one isn't technically uh, an affordable slash drugstore brush. 
but every once in a while I think it's okay to splurge on brushes because I feel like sometimes you just see a brush and you know like that's missing in my collection I need that and I feel like this for me is one of those brushes it's just the number 12 eyeshadow or sorry eyebrow brush it is my favorite eyebrow brush that I've ever come across thus far that's looking so much better with this brush because when I did it in the other video with that essence one it just it looked so warm tone and it just I don't know, it made the product not look as nice as it's looking right now, so that's good because this is a nice affordable alternative. And it did wear all day, so that's nice as well. Alrighty, so brows definitely look so much better with the other brush, so I was initially thinking about returning it or exchanging it for a different color, but that looks so much better when I use the Anastasia brush. And then, um, Originally, I tried out the LA Girl Double D Mascara on the previous video that got deleted. This is 100% going back. It deposited like nothing on my lashes. It was the weirdest thing. I could see the product actually on the wand, but it just very little was actually going on to my lashes after multiple coats. I just went in with my typical mascara though for the last couple months. It's just been the Tarte Athleisure, the purple one that's what I have on so that's the only thing that's not drugstore in here but LA girl not the double D mascara so no for lips I'm just gonna be putting on the wet n wild gel lip liner this is the shade bear to comment really pretty automatic not sharpenable lip liner It sounds really nice and creamy, so it's probably not super long wearing because it's kind of the trade-off when it comes to lip liners. The drier and formula it is, the longer it's going to last on the lips typically and then vice versa when it's creamier. And then um, I'm so, so shocked by this. I literally was thought about... Um, I had thought about returning it before I even bought it, like just putting it back and not purchasing it, but I'm so glad I did. It's from the brand, I believe it's Perfect Tone, and it's the Matte Lip Cream in the shade... No, it was on the package. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, it doesn't say the actual name on here, but the number on the bottom is 5408. So 5408 by Perfect Tone and I picked this up at Rite Aid. There's like, I want to say there's maybe like 10 other colors. This is just the one that I ended up purchasing. The applicator is just like a thin old school one. There's no like lip cupping form to it, but it lasted so well and it's got such a nice comfortable formula. It's like three or four dollars. With this one, I do just recommend that you use one complete, like, wand dip for the bottom and then a second one for the top. Because if you try and make it, like, last, you'll get, like, a little bit of streaking. But other than that, the formula is super buttery and creamy. It has, like, a slight vanilla -y scent to it. It's not overly drying. And for a drugstore, this is probably one of the best formulas that I've tried. Probably neck and neck with the Wet n Wild, the cat suit ones. Those are awesome. But this is so shocking. I've never even heard of that brand Perfect Tone before, but this is just such a pretty color in the formula. Blew my mind. Is there anything else I was going to try? Nope, I think that is all. So, for being drugstore, this is like awesome so affordable as a whole a lot of the times at Rite Aid they have like buy one get one half off or buy one get one free of physician's formula so it, I definitely recommend going there to purchase physician's formula because it is a little bit more on the pricey side for drugstore but overall that cushion foundation if you happen to be able to get it in your perfect color it is amazing i am so so happy i purchased those like i said the only things that i didn't like were the essence new eyebrow brush and the la girl double d mascara just weren't for me but as a whole considering like everything great great options from the drugstore and this coming from somebody who's ridiculously picky when it comes to like powder and foundation but i love it this is so nice so anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you very soon in my next video